Hello, guys. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Great. Let me just um, turn on my light. Just give me a moment. Okay, that's better. So how are you guys? Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, okay, good. I'm happy to see everybody. Uh, welcome. How was the weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, teacher, we could rest. Yeah, you had it? Okay, good. All right. Yes, what? I slept. <laughs> oh, me too. You, so you, you accomplished what you wanted. Ah, right? yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I want it. Okay, what about the rest of you? What did you do on the weekend? Anything interesting? No, nothing interesting? Okay, all right. Okay, well, I'm glad, guys, that um, you guys were able to at least rest. Um, that's important. So um, today, um, well, first of all, um, like I, I was telling everybody, welcome to the um, week number three. We have uh, officially begun week three so that we are able to um, complete. Well, I, 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 told, I asked you guys to complete the midterm and I see that every, well, pretty much everybody completed the midterm. So thank you very much for completing that. I do appreciate that. Um, that way I, everything is in order and you are able to um, have the grade that you, that, you, well, that you need and you deserve, right? So thank you very much for doing that. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be um, starting unit three. This is the, the new unit. But before anything, we're going to take attendance. So I have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Ana Claudia. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Edgar. Janet. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Janet. Fabiola. Fabiola? No? Okay. All right, Irene. Irene? Irene? No. Uh, Haiti? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Haiti. Uh, Ivan. Is Ivan here? No, not I. Okay, all right. Um, what about Johnny? Is Johnny here? No, okay. Uh, Josue, Josue Alberto. Josue? Oh, um, I think there's there's a problem with the audio, or at least I don't know if I don't know if it's me, but I can't hear you. Can the rest of you hear Josue? No, no, teacher. Good evening, by the way. Oh, good evening, Ivan. Um, okay, so maybe just um, check the audio. There might be some, some, something you have to, you know, do the configure the setting for. So just, um, just look at that. Okay, uh, we'll continue. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Jury. Is Jerry here? Jerry, not here, no? Okay. Carla, is Carla here? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Carla. Okay. Is your camera working? Yeah, teacher, but I'm going to try to in in, in in my laptop. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, Melissa is not here, right? I don't think so. Um, Luis? Mr. Teacher. 
Okay, welcome. Manuel Alejandro. Good teacher. All right. Welcome, Manuel. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. Thank you. Wendy. Present. All right. Welcome, Wendy. Warner. Oh, I see Warner is just connecting. Warner? Oh, he's no, he's still connecting audio. Okay, I'll come back to him then. Um, Yvonne. Present. All right, welcome Yvonne. Thank you. Um, Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier, no? Okay, Jenny? Jenny? No? Okay. Uh, Warner? Present teacher. Okay, good. All right. So let me repeat the people that I didn't hear. I just make sure that I didn't miss anybody. Fabiola? Irene? Ivan. With your teacher. Oh, okay. One's here. Um, Johnny. Um, Jerry. Melissa. Francisco Javier. And Jenny. Okay, so those are the people I didn't hear. Okay, all right guys, so welcome to today's class. Uh, first of all, we're going to start our class by, um, let's see, as we're gonna start with the presentation. So let me share. Can you tell me when you can see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Yes, I see it now. Wonderful. Okay, good. So this is the beginner module six. It's unit three, HR procedures. By the way, do we understand what is HR? Human, human resource. Exactly. Human resources. Mm -hmm. So human resource resources procedures. Okay, that's unit three. And today is Monday, June 7th, 2021. It's day number 11, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I just remembered. In a moment, I'm going to write in the chat my, uh, my, my complete name, or if you want, you can take note of my name, so that you are able to complete the uh, the survey, remember that I mentioned a survey last week? There are two Jessicas, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't want to get you guys confused. So um, you can take note of it or else I'm going to write my name in the, in, in the chat, okay? So that you don't get confused, okay? Uh, because yes, you need to write it. You need to do the survey for the correct person, okay? All right. Um, so... Let's start first of all. This is a grammar review, okay? The grammar review. So, first of all, we're gonna complete uh, the instruction is complete the se the sentence of the simple present form of the verb in parentheses, okay? So we're going to do a little review of unit two, okay? I want to make sure that you did learn, that you do understand, that you have no other questions. So. Um, we're going to complete with the simple present, okay, of the verb in parentheses. And the sentences are the following. Can everybody see that or is, you want me to change the color? I just realized. I can see it. Yeah, can you guys see it? Okay. Yes. Right. Okay, good. So over here we have some sentences. 
um, about uh, different activities that people do at work and, you know, um, yeah, so uh, like tasks that people do at work. And you want to put the verb that is in parentheses in the correct form of the simple present, okay? The other thing I want you guys to do is complete the sentences with the simple present form of the verb in parentheses for this one. Okay. Oh, sorry, wait a sec. Sorry. It should still it should still be the simple present, but it's not in parentheses. It's actually the verb. Yeah, the, the verbs that are put them in the correct order, right? And put them in in the correct form too, okay? Do we understand both uh, both activities? The second activity, I don't understand it that much. Okay, hold For on. For example, in the first one, uh, we are going to use the word that appears in, in parentheses, right? Uh, the... Yeah, okay, hold on. Just give me a second. I think I'm going to change the instructions easier for you too. I understand we need to write a sentence sentence using those words, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. But so let me just do this again so that it's, I think there's a little confusion and I don't want to confuse you more. So, All right, so let me try this again. Okay, so here we go. Write sentences using the words in parentheses. Okay, and the words in parentheses are pick up, always, and tables. So you're going to make a sentence using these words. Okay, and um, the idea, oops, sorry. The idea is that you're going to put, you're going to have to make make those sentences make sense. Okay, so that's that's the interesting part about it. You got to make sure that it makes sense. Okay. All right. So I'll give you. Well, you know what? Actually, um, let's. Let's work directly with a partner, okay? I was gonna get you guys to do it first and then work with the partner to check the answers, but I think we'll do it together, you know, right away with the partner. Um, that way you are able to discuss together, okay? So um, let's, we're gonna create breakout rooms. Um, Warner, are you on two devices? No teacher, only one. Only one, okay. Okay, um, all right, so I'm gonna give you, I think you, I think you should be able to do it in about 10 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna give you about 20, 10 minutes to do this. And you can go ahead and join your groups. Voy a la casa. Ay. Um. Can, you, can you share the, the manual? Uh, yeah, only video, video comes in my cell phone. Ah, okay. Let me see. You guys. 
share um, the screen again? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay, no problem. To work together. Can you tell me the page number, teacher, please? Uh, sure, just, um, but I'm gonna have to stop sharing. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll find it out. No, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take the picture. Just be, take the picture and then I'll, sh I'll stop sharing. I'll tell you. Okay, got it? I got it. Okay. Yeah. And it's page. Um, page number 28. Okay. Okay. So Werner, you have video and sound in this. Yes, screen. teacher. I I go home. What? ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah. Acabo de llegar a la casa. No sé. Ah, okay. I just got home. I just, yes, teacher. I just okay. home. No, but I mean, like in this in this device, you are able to have audio and video at the same time. Uh, yes, teacher. For um, in my cart is a video, and uh, I enter it in my homes is uh, first the close video for movie. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Okay, good. But this the this uh, video looks good. It's um, it's very clear. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the <Okay. yes>, <laughs> Okay, let's start then, Werner. In number one is Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m., right? Right. Jeff works. How are you guys doing? For those, says this no. table. How are you guys doing? Are you ready? Yeah. ready? Yeah, or you still need more time? You're working um, well. Are you more time. More time. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Our restaurant seria open. Open. Eh, open. Uh -huh. Open. Uh -huh. Open. Open. No. Um. No. No. You're right. It's open. Open. Okay. Because it's all restaurant. All restaurant, restaurant okay. open. Okay. Okay. Or boss spends. Spends. Uh -huh, spends. With it. We don't. Don't close. Close. Yeah. Don't close and they they expect. They expect, yeah. Okay. And the part two, we Why have to do sentences. Okay, pick up always tables. Uh say, um, for example. I I would pick up the pick up uh, tables uh in the school. Mm. Oh, in the store, city. We oh, I, I have tables at the store. Uh, I always pick out the dishes of the table, the, como los platos de la mesa. No sé si es. Excuse me? The Riley, 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 teacher. Riley. Hi. 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 What is the 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 number three? Three. Number three. Yes, in the second activity. Uh, what do you mean? Here, what is do you the mean word the here? You mean the here? pronunciation? Yes, and what is that? Rarely. Re no, the next here, 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 here. Higher. 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 
Mm -hmm. Higher. 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 Higher is like, it, it, it's pronounced just like when you say higher, like the más alto, right? Mm -hmm. Higher. In the same pronunciation. The same pronunciation. But it, does, but it doesn't mean that. Higher means to give a job to somebody. Okay. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Higher uh, no es contrataciones. Contratar. Uh -huh. Contratar. Ah, contratar. Ah, okay. To give a job. To give a job to mm -hmm. someone. To contratar. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. And the number four is sometimes close early. Our new employee. Okay. Number number five. Five. Get away. This is hardly ever promotional item. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Get away. Give away. Promotional items. Hardly ever. Mm. Teacher, uh, in the number five, give, give away is una sola frase. Number five. Number five in the exercise two. Uh-huh. Give away. Uh-huh. Yes, give away. It, what it means, give away is like, um, como dar. Mm -hmm. Dar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give away. Uh, maybe the, um, in the context of this, is esperar. Okay. To expect is uh, esperar. In the context, esperar. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Ready? Oh. Uh, almost. Hi, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yes. Two more minutes? Yes. See, please. Yes, we need uh, three, three, minutes. three minutes. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's the next. We close. The restaurant, you say? Early on Tuesday. Early on Tuesday. Hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> you are not like Irene that Ivan and I, we were writing down clavados. <laughs> and suddenly when we... <laughs> she appears oh, so. suddenly. Exactly. She suddenly yeah. was there. <laughs> oh, okay. So, hoy sí, pues, sí, gelosa. <laughs> no, eso me pasó con Irene. Usted no, el sistema no. nos avisa. Oh, Irene. Con, con Irene nos pasó. Estábamos escribiendo. Cuando volteamos a ver de repente, <laughs> y ella que no nos había dicho nada tampoco. Uh, she was very quiet, okay. Ah, uh, um, yes. Are you guys we finished started. or do you still need more time? No, we are just, we're completing just the number. Yes, we did it, but they are giving us, they are telling us the sentences to copy us. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, will you be finished in about a minute? Yes, yes. Oh, Ivan, yes. what is the next one? All right. And the next one. Este tal vez, tal vez en el siguiente mes, en the next grabando. month. <laughs> in the next month. <laughs> Ay, tiche. ¿Cómo estamos? Ya aquí haciéndole frente, es que es como por ratitos que diera que, que mal, un dolor de estómago y todo eso y 
Lo no lamento, Fabiola, de veras, lo no lamento. Ay, sí. usted. Si no, si no tuviera que, que, que personal ahí por el compromiso, pues, ¿verdad? Otra cosa sería, ¿verdad? Yo entiendo que no, es sí, como un su esfuerzo. Sí. Gracias. Sí. Pero, pero ya ahorita, en este momento, se siente relativamente bien. Es que, la verdad es que fui al seguro porque me tenían que chequear, pero ya me fui algo tarde. Ah. Porque la doctora de la empresa me dijo. Uh -huh. Y para ver si me daban prórroga y todo eso, y solo me dieron unos días más, ver. Mm, okay. Pero sí, no me siento tan, tan bien del todo, pero hay que hacer de frente. Uh -huh. Sí, lo lamento, lamento, pero ya se va a poner mejor, ¿verdad? Este, ya con el medicamento solo es de cosa de tener paciencia. ¿verdad? Sí, primero Dios. Are you guys? Hello, Jerry. Uh, we are just finishing off some exercises. Are you finished, girls, or do you need more time? No, yes, es teacher. que la aplicación me sacó. Estuve sola un ratito. Me sacó la aplicación. Okay. Bueno, uh, pero ya casi o falta mucho. Ya vamos por la segunda parte, teacher. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you about one, two more minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Hello, Judy. Hi, how are you, Carla? How are you? What, what is the page that you are working? On days. Is the new day? Are you yeah. in Monday? Yes, <laughs> ready? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, so, all right. Any questions, any problems? In uh, number six, the churches never is closed or closed. Okay. Churches, singular or plural? Yes, plural. 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 So, do you think we're going to use close or closes? Closes. Plural. Close. Close. Ah, uh, close. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Ah, yeah. Because it's plural. It's like they. Uh-huh, it's like they, exactly. Okay. Okay, so they close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, be careful with this word. Um, because it's not pronounced close, it's close. 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 With the, with the, the z, close. The z. Close. 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 Yes. Close. Because the difference yeah. is because clo um, close, um, close is uh, the verb, okay? And close is like a, like, okay. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Also, it's also the same pronunciation for near, close. close. Like near, close. Close. Close to you. But the verb, the verb is close. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Oh, no. No. Good. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Marvin, how was the maintenance in? Bye. Hi guys. How are you guys doing? We are working in the last part, okay. teacher. You're working on the last part. Okay. Yes. Are you finished? Or where are you? Uh, the we need a little more time. We we need to complete one, two more sentences. Okay. You have 30 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, I teacher. have to close the, the rooms, okay? Because we're already over time. Okay. Sorry about that. No worries. You know, okay. one more. Hurry up, er Edgar, sometimes What? close early. We sometimes close early. Sí, sí, sin mucha vuelta. Okay. We 
we early. So we sometimes. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Are we finished? Yeah, we're done. Yay, okay, good, excellent. All right, so I'm gonna see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. I had the uh, night shift. <laughs> night shift. Hi yes. guys, are we ready? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. I hope everybody was able to complete the exercises. So let's take a look and um, share your answers. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay. So here we are with a review of Unit 2. We're going to be putting the verb in parentheses in the simple present. So we're going to start with that first, okay? Um, okay. All right, so all right, so what we're going to do is I will start with well, I'm going to ask different people to help me write the answer. Um, all right, so let's start with Luis. Luis, can you help me with number one? Okay, take care. Uh, the various works. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, like this? Yeah, take care. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Irene. Number two, would you help me with number two, Irene? Okay, clean. Jay and Pete clean the tables every day. So, like this, Irene? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. how about if it's got help with, with number three? Uh, Mark uh, doesn't take orders of week of when Wednesdays so like this no not like this no no teacher doesn't take so if, if this is not correct what 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 is the correct answer according to this is correct. I, I'm asking you, do you think it's correct? Yeah, teacher. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Let's change the color. Okay. All right, like that, right? Yeah. Ready to go? Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, okay, uh, thank you. Andres, could you help me with number four? Open switcher. Our restaurant opens from 9, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Like this? Uh, yes. Yeah? 
Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number five, um, Warner. Tell me with number five, please. Name the price, teacher or boss. Spent. Spent. Like this? Yes, teacher. Most times in these restaurants. Okay, thank you. Okay, number six. Um, Josue, please help me with number six. Wait on, close. Is do not do not close. Do not close like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. And number seven, I would like um, Janet to help us with number seven. They expect to have more clients this week. Like this? Yes. All right. Does everybody agree with these answers? You think you're okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so let's check. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's correct. Because um, the reason why it's correct is because it, Jeff is a third person singular. And we're going to be adding. Oh, hold on. Just give me a moment. You guys can see, can, can you guys see this or no? Are, are you seeing my, are, can you see yes. this? Okay. Some reason I don't know why. For some reason it doesn't want to change the color. But anyways, okay. I'll just I'm gonna keep it like this. Okay, so yes, yeah, so Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. because Jeff is third person singular. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. That's correct. Because Jane and Pete, even though Jane is a woman and Pete is a man. Jane is she and Pete is he, but put together, they are they, they right? The subject they. So you, it's not individually, right? So it's they together. Next, Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. That is correct as well, because uh, Mark is third person singular. And also remember that when we have a negative, we have to use doesn't or does, sorry, doesn't or don't for um, the negative. So, and in this case, take is in the original form. You don't change anything, you don't put S, you don't put ED or you don't put um, ING, it's just take in the original form because the only thing that we change is, is the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is doesn't. So this is going to be suffering the changes, not the verb. It's the auxiliary that changes, not the verb. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's all go on to number four. Our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Good, because uh, our restaurant is it. Okay, the restaurant is Okay, uh, number five, our boss spends much time in the restaurant is correct because my boss sorry our boss 
is only one person. Yes, it involves many people, but it's just one person for all the people, that, or it's or one boss for all the people. So that's why it's third person singular, you put an S. Number six, we do not close on Sundays, is also correct because when it's third person sing, sorry, when, sorry, when it's negative, we can either use doesn't or don't, or the full form, do not. So that if you put don't, it's also correct, okay? Don't or do not close. Again, the, the verb has to be in the original form. There is absolutely no change to the verb, only to the auxiliary. And, uh, oh, sorry, not to the race. In this case, there's no, no change at all because it's, it's we. And finally, number six, seven, they expect to have more clients this week is also correct because it's third person singular, it's they. All right, any questions so far? It's okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so let's move on to the next part uh, that we were checking. And in this case, you had to put the verbs in, sorry, the, the, the words in the correct order and make sentences that make sense, right? That's the idea with this one. Okay, so here I'm going to ask, um, give me a moment. Um, okay, so let's have um, Jerry. Jerry, can you help me out with number one? Okay, teacher, let me see. Is they always pick up the table? Like this, Jerry? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Haiti, help us with number two. Number two, they seldom change the menu. Like this, J um, Haiti? Yes, did you? Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Uh, let's see, um, mm -hmm. Anna Claudia, can you help us with number three? Yes, teacher. Uh, Usulutan restaurant rarely hires new employees. Like this? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, you said it's so a restaurant. Oh, yes, a Sulatan restaurant. Fragley okay. hires new employees. They're at restaurant. <laughs> okay. It's a long sentence. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right. Um, hey, Luis, help me with number four, please, Luis. We sometimes close early. I'm sorry, Luis, could you repeat that again? Can you hear me well? It's raining a lot right now. Can you hear oh, it's me? raining. Oh. Yes, it's raining oh. a lot. Okay, it's okay. Do um, your best. We sometimes close early. Okay, did you say we, we sometimes? Close early. Like this, Luis? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Yvonne, please help me with um, numbers five. Okay. Uh, McDonald's hardly ever give away promotional items.
like this, Simon? Yes. Or oh, hold on. I think we'll fit it. We'll just. Hmm. No, I think it's better if I do it smaller. Okay. Okay, thank you. And um, number six. Uh, let me see who has been passed. Um, Josue. So, so did you did you give me an answer or no? Not yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You gave Maybe me. I can first. give you another. Oh, it's okay. No, no, I don't uh, want. The churches okay, well. never close on Mondays. Which one? Which? Who never closes on Monday? Church. Oh, churches. Yeah, the churches. Church, the church churches never close on Monday. Okay, sure. Okay, obviously these are going to be a little different for everybody. Um, you know, you can change the idea a little bit. Okay, um, actually, what I was going to say, um, I noticed uh, also that when, you, when I visited your group, I noticed that you guys had the churches, right? But in this one, we're going to keep it as churches. And the reason is because when we're talking about in general, like when we're generalizing something, uh, like in this case, we are generalizing, we're talking about all the churches right so when we're generalizing we don't put the word the okay so we're just going to keep it as churches okay all right now of course this is going to all it's going to depend on the subject that you guys have um elected but um in general i'm going to i'm going to judge the sentences based on the sentences that you have given me okay so you guys are probably going to have something different and that's okay all right so here we go uh they always pick up the table that's right the tables that was my mistake it should say tables okay because that's how it is tables okay Uh, number two, they seldom change the menu. Again, it's okay. Uh, Sultan restaurant rarely hires new employees. Uh, and this was my mistake that I put restaurant, not not restaurant. And in this case, we're going to have to put the. And the reason is because we're being specific. We're, we're not being general. We're not generalizing all the Usulutan restaurants. We're talking about a specific Usulutan restaurant. Okay? So the Usulutan restaurant. So like the, the particular branch of restaurant. Okay? All right. Just give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Um, let's see, the other one is, okay, so this one's okay. Uh, number four, we sometimes close early. That's okay too. And I was actually, um, I was telling one of the groups that be careful with the way that you pronounce this word, um, the word close, close.
um, we close early. So it's not pronounced as a s, it's pronounced as a z. So we close early. Close with a, like a z at the end, okay? And the reason is because it's a verb. If we do, if we pronounce like, a B, like an S, it's not a verb anymore. It's going to be either close, like the ropa, right, close, or it can be, it can mean like near, like, a, like I am close to you, okay, I am near you, okay? So this word here has to be pronounced as a Z at the end, close, okay? Um, Carla, is Carla here? No. Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Oh, okay. Carla, uh, did you have, yeah, I saw your hand was up. Did you? Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. It, it was, it was like, okay. okay, no worries. I just wanted to know if you had a question. So I have trouble with the connection. Just oh, it's okay. It's okay. No worries. I'm probably going to have trouble with my connection too, because right now there is a storm that's, uh, that's going on in my house. So The one from Luis? Yeah. What do you have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it moved over here. We probably live oh. close by, Luis. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, yeah. So, if by any chance I lose my connection, you guys know why. Okay, because there's it's the storm is quite strong right now. It's mostly it's mostly a lot of wind. I can feel a lot of wind right now. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, McDonald hardly ever give away promotional items. What do you guys think about that one? I, I, in that case, I think that is missing gifts, giveaway, because giveaway is a, a noun for a, something, right? So give is using this K as a verb. And the giveaway is like, uh, right now is, Hi. Oh, so what did you say, Ana Claudia? Hmm? What did you say was missing? The verb because giveaway is the I don't remember how to say it's a. Oh. Ah. oh. Okay, I understand what you're saying. It's an object, so the giveaway right. is the object. Right. Uh, it, okay, giveaway. I'll give away. Wow. Sorry, my the the, the storm is very very strong in my house. Um, anyways, giveaway, it can be a noun, which means a giveaway. Oh, no. It's like a giveaway is like um, una regalia, okay? But it's also possible to use as a verb, okay? And it means eh, dar, okay? That's what it means, dar. Giveaway so, as a phrasal verb? Yes, exactly. Ah, okay. Yes, correct. So, yes, it is possible to use giveaway as a verb. It's actually a phrasal verb. But anything else that you guys want to mention about this? Any Anything you want to mention that you notice? No? Okay. If it's used as a verb? Should use uh, an S? Exactly, yes. Because it's a verb, McDonald is a restaurant and it's person. it. So it's third person singular and you would have to add an S. Okay, McDonald hardly ever gives away promotional items. So the noun, the object is promotional items. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, got it? Yes. Okay, just give me a second, guys. I'm going to just close something because the the, the rain is coming in. So just give me a moment. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys. Okay, here I am back again. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's go to number six. Churches never close on Monday. And that one is correct. Churches never close on Monday. All right, and in this case, it's okay because churches is plural, so we would say close. All right. All right, any questions, guys, so far? No. No, teacher. Okay. All right, guys, in that case, so uh, we're going to stop sharing here. Okay. All right, so we have officially finished uh, Unit 2. I can see that you guys understand it. So uh, right now it's 9. Oh, um, so I'm going to right now take a sentence once again. All right, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. All right, Edgar. 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 Oh, you can't hear me. Hi, Edgar. Hi. Present teacher, sorry. Okay, good, thank you. Janet. Present teacher. All right. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, great. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Um, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, Johnny. Present teacher, it's in my first class. Yes, welcome, Johnny. Um, Thank you. Welcome, and, and um, um, we're happy to see you. Thanks. All right, so uh, we present the class to you, okay? Um, so ev everybody here um, is, uh, is a great, uh, very friendly, so they're all gonna help you out, okay? All right, Thanks. so welcome. Um, Josue? Present teacher. All right. And um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Wonderful. Jury. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. Okay. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. All right, uh, Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. 